Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Maverick Server and we're going to take a look at the Messages uh, service that's built into Maverick Server. Now Messages is basically uh, the same thing as iMessage that Apple has set up as their messaging service across all of your iOS and uh, Mac devices. And built into Server is your own private Messages service so that you wouldn't have to rely on something like iCloud uh, to have your communications take place. Uh, you could do that privately through your own server where all of the information transmitted back and forth is controlled by you and is not sent uh, to anyone that you haven't authorized. And so it adds a level of security if you want to have your own private uh, chat server, so to speak, so that uh, everything is, uh, is secure. And so what we're going to do in this screencast is I'm going to show you how to set the service up and then we'll walk you through how to set it up on your clients and even how to integrate some of the group features into it as well. So this is the messaging ser messages service right here. You can see again that it's off uh, access wise. Uh, it says that it's offline, so nothing is live. Uh, again, they actually have uh, a tutorial on how to configure this service as well. If you like to read that, you can click that link right there. Now when we get to the settings, there's really just two uh, main settings in here. We have enable server to server federation and we have archive all messages. Now, server-to-server -server federation basically is uh, it's an encryption uh, setup that uh, enables sort of an SSL uh, talk back and forth. So that basically when you're using messages with one another, they're encrypted. And uh, the servers can uh, actually check, check one another out to make sure that they're secure and they're ones that, they, that you can uh, choose to, uh, to use because they're safe. So let me just enable this setting here, and we're going to edit it because I want to show you the different uh, things that you can do with it. Uh, one thing you can do is you can require uh, a secure server-to-server -server federation, uh, meaning that uh, you, your uh, chat clients, your messages clients, will not talk to any other server uh, that is not secure, that does not have SSL uh, established on it. Now, one of the things you're going to want to make sure you do, let me just cancel this for a minute, is you're going to want to make sure that you yourself uh, have SSL and messages for this to work. So to do that, you can go up to the certificates up here, uh, and we've talked about SSL certificates in a previous tutorial. And so if you missed out on that, uh, you might want to go back and take a look at that. Uh, you just want to make sure that all of your services have SSL here, uh, that you don't have custom or anything else in the way. Uh, if you've got this uh, on here where it shows your certificate, that means all your services are using SSL and are secure. Okay, that's one thing you want to check just to be safe. So let's go back into messages and let's edit again. So you can set up that to require this server to server federation. Now, the other thing is, is you can um, allow federation with any domain or you can restrict the federation to the following domains. And so what this means is that uh, you uh, with messages server, you're able to communicate with other servers, whether that's another server inside your network uh, that you've got. Maybe you've got a business with multiple servers or uh, a server outside your network, uh, things like Google Talk or uh, you know, or Google uh, Chat, I mean, or maybe things like uh, AOL or some of those other chat clients. Uh, it'll allow you to uh, have a federation with those different domains. Now, if you want to limit that, there are certain domains you don't want uh, other uh, people inside your messages server to have contact with. You can limit those here. You can click restrict and just click the plus and you can put them in, you know, uh, whatever it is. If it's, uh, you know, server.example.com or AOL or whatever it is, and you just leave that there, then that means that basically uh, the fe your federation uh, is restricted only to your server. I'm sorry, I got that backwards. It's, it's to your server, not to other servers. So it basically just limits and says, this is the only one I can have contact with. Uh, I'm going to take that off because uh, I'm going to allow it with any domain. But you can require the secure federation again. So again, it just gives you um, the ability to secure this, to lock it down, to require it. Um, and I think I'm just going to click that for security and then say OK. So it's set that up for me. I've got server to server federation set up, so I'm ready to go. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can actually archive all of the messages if I want to. And if I just click this uh, archive all the messages, you notice I got this little arrow next to it. And if I click on that, it will actually show me where the message archive is. So that as your users are, are chatting using messages, it'll have an archive and will store all of the different things uh, that they're talking about. So that if you've uh, got messages that you want to keep, maybe, if, again, if you're in a business and you need those messages for one, one reason or another and they accidentally get deleted, uh, you could go back in and find them here if you archive those messages. So let me just uh, quit this here. Uh, I am going to choose not to archive those. 
Okay, now that I've got uh, the basics set up, uh, what I can do is start the service. And just like anything else, it'll start it. Green light says it's available. I got a green light both here and here. So now the messages service is set up and ready to be used. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is show you how to set it up. Uh, but before I do that, uh, one of the things that is included in messages is your buddy lists. So the ability to have different buddies that you've put together by location. And built into server, you can set up buddy lists based on groups and users. And so let me show you how that works. Uh, what I've got here is I go into groups. I set up a group for my kids. And so let me just... Uh, let me just edit this real quick so that you can see what it looks what it looks like. And so it's loading here. So I've got this set up for kids. And so I gave it that, that account name and I've got all my kids in here. And um, you have this checkbox where you can make group members message buddies. So that what happens is they don't have to add one another. They're automatically buddies on messages uh, right away just because they're in this group. And so this is a great way to either if you've got departments in a company or in your home, if you want to subgroup your different message buddies, uh, you can set this up right in here and it will... Uh, uh, propagate all the way through to all of your different users and things so that they will all uh, have a message buddies list based on their groups. Uh, so that's where you would set that up. So I just wanted to show you that uh, so you knew how to set that up so that you know where the buddies list comes from. Let me just go back into messages here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up on your client and then I'll show you how, how it looks once you've got it set up and running on your server. Okay, here I am with on a screen share of one of my clients and so I'm going to set up the messages service. You can see I have no conversation selected, so I've got nothing uh, set up and ready to go. So in order to set up your buddies, you go into uh, messages in order to set up your account, and you go to, you can go to preferences, or you can go to add account. So I'm just going to click add account. And so you get this nice drop down that asks you what type of account do you want to add? Google, Yahoo, AOL. Uh, now we want to add an other messages account, and so we'll click continue. Now, the account type that we're after is Jabber. Jabber is the account type that is used uh, by server. And so that's the account we want to set up. And so in here, you put in your account name and your password. And so that would be your, your username and password. You would put that information in here. So let me just add that information right now. And one of the things to understand as you're adding this is, is you want to add it, uh, once you put in your username, it's going to be the short name with an at sign and then your server's name. Okay, that's what you want to put in there. So it'll be short name at server.example.com or example.com, whatever it is that you have set up. And then you'll put in your password. And once you've got that information in there, you're done. Now you can actually put in your server options if you want to, if you want to put in your server name and port and whether you want to use uh, Kerberos for authentication or not. Uh, I'm just going to leave that alone as standard for right now and just click create. And so what will happen is it'll go through the process now of creating the account. And you can see that I've, I've logged in. It says Jabber is now available. Uh, you can see that I've got uh, four people on my server offline. And you can see all the different people that are on my server here. Uh, those are my different uh, groups and things. And you notice it says my kids group is there, work group, and offline. Now, as soon as these other uh, users come online, they would go up into the kids group and would show right on there. Uh, so that you could uh, begin to talk to them right away. But as you can see, the server has already linked to these uh, various users and has already got them set up uh, for them ready to go. And so the, the buddies lists are already, uh, already set up and populated by the server. Now, let me just uh, put this down here. Now, you can see that uh, it's a, our service is available. It's jab, Jabber. Uh, I have the ability to go ahead and put my status uh, whatever my status is, you know, if I'm available or not available or away. And then this works just like any, uh, any regular chat service. Uh, I can put in the names of people uh, that, that I want to uh, communicate with. You can see there's my other uh, client there uh, on the server. I can put his information in there. And now that he's on there, I can actually, uh, you know, start a conversation with him uh, and, and start to talk to him. And I can add other users and, and put them on there as well. So if I just said new message and then I typed in his name, then I could start typing a message to him. Now he's not, he's not live on the server yet, so I just say hi. Uh, that'll send a, a, a message to him. It says hi, but he's offline, and it tells me he's offline right here. Once he comes online, then he'd be able to communicate back and forth with me. So that kind of gives you an idea how the service uh, is put together, and then you would go and establish that on all of your different client machines, and then you can communicate back and forth across your network uh, having your own messages server. Again, this doesn't go online anywhere other than just through your server, so it is very secure. Well, that's all I have for this week. 
I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.